Hey guys, this is Jim K and 4YCD. Thanks for watching FEP Labs Radio. I wanted to talk to you about the QYT KTWP12 uh, Mini Color Screen Mobile Radio. I bought this uh, off of Banggood. Uh, it was not sponsored. I paid for the radio. Um, I thought this was a cool looking device. This is fairly new. This has only been out three, four, five months. Um, not long. The actual radio itself is, as you can see on the picture here, very small. All the controls are in the mic head itself. Um, and of course it's connected by a cable. So the beauty of this is you could uh, bury this little guy somewhere out of the way and uh, short of antenna and power and the mic cable, you wouldn't have this thing sitting on a dashboard anywhere. Um, in the box, and I've already got the radio out, in the box it came with a mounting bracket for it and it came with the uh, screws and hardware to mount the mounting bracket, a spare fuse, a microphone uh, mount hook, and uh, some sticky uh, things for the mic hook if you don't want to screw it in your car dashboard. Uh, obviously, I've already taken the radio out. So, let's uh, pop this out of the way. This is also sold as the uh, AnySecu, A-N-Y-S-E-C-U, I think B9900. I know it's 9900. I can't remember if it's a B9900, but under AnySecu, same exact radio. It is the literally the same exact radio. I bought this off of Banggood. It did not come with the programming cable. Um, apparently there's two slightly different models, one with the programming cable and one without. So be aware of that. It's available on Amazon. I got mine from Banggood. It was a little cheaper on Banggood. More on that later. Uh, so let's take a look at the radio real quick. So here is the radio itself. This is it. Not much to it as you can see. There's our um, SO239 antenna connector. And on the front we have the microphone connector and then uh, it, when you get this radio it has this uh, little uh, cover called the data hole if you can see that on the camera over here and that covers up um, an external speaker jack and this is where we put the programming cable um, it has a little rubber grommet that goes around it, so it's reasonably water resistant. Um, another use for this radio, you know, besides burying this thing, you know, in your center console of your truck or under your seat or something, this would be great for a two meter go box just based on the size because you don't, you don't have a lot of room you have to worry about the radio. So you can get a battery in there and antenna connector and so on and so forth. Uh, gauges, extra USB connectors, whatever, and uh, have a pretty compact go kit with this little guy. So maybe instead of using a 50 meter, 50 um, caliber ammo can, you could use a 30 caliber ammo can, for example. Um, just a thought. So anyway, so there's the radio. The microphone <clears throat> is this guy right here. As you can see, there's our PTT on the side. These two buttons on the top are completely programmable. Uh, there's a long press function and a short press function available for each. And then, of course, on the microphone itself, we have a um, menu button to bring up the menu or functions. And then each button has a separate function on it. Um, I think one downside to this radio that I do not like, um, I will tell you straight up, is that to change the volume, you have to do a lot of little extra button pushing. There is not a, a separate volume up and volume down button. Now, if you have this hooked to an external speaker with a volume control on the speaker, I don't know, you know. Or if you wire it in through your car's audio system, you'd have volume control that way. That's the only downside, I think, to that. Now, the problem we have, as you can see, I've already had this apart, is my little connector's broken. Um, I'm going to turn this on as soon as I plug this in. I am uh, working with Banggood, which is code for I've filled out their support email tickets and have been ignored mostly uh, for several days. Uh, we'll, more on that later. So let's power this up. And I've just got this plugged into a cigarette lighter adapter to a power supply here in the shop. 
um, and I'll show you what the problem is with the radio I have. So that button turns it on. This also is, this is power on and power off and also um, brakes squelch, so monitor. So I was able to manually program a couple channels in. Um, this is our local volunteer fire department. I flipped it over there to put it on them so I could hear them on the radio when I was playing around with it. Um, but you can see that nothing works anymore. None of the buttons work. And no, it is not locked. Um, it does have a lock function, but it is baroque. And the reason I say that is if you... It's probably not going to do it on camera now. Yeah, not going to do it right now. If you jiggle this, it will start uh, changing the numbers on the microphone. And you'll notice that there is no PTT. It does not key up, and I've verified that with another radio. It's not transmitting at all. Um, the blue button does nothing. This will power it on and power it off and break squelch, but that is all it does. That is all it does. And I assume it's the cable. Um, I had noticed that the cable, when I was trying to figure out why it quit working, and, and it quit working like as in it locked up. So I thought, well, you know, I have press the lock sequence somehow and got this thing you know child proofed and of course I'm an idiot so I couldn't get it unchild proofed and um, read the manual which it comes with this you know fine manual in English and Chinese and um, indeed I had not locked it it just doesn't work you can unlock it by pushing the orange button but that is the only functions that work on this radio what is also interesting if you look up there in the corner where it says mic as I talk yep now it's not going to do it testing one two three four testing one two three four there you go sorry for the yelling it will move the mic numbers there you go see it doing that every time I talk loud enough I, that's all it does it doesn't transmit doesn't do anything else and as this is the complete control unit for the radio it's a hundred dollar brick at this point now let me say a couple things I bought this from Banggood I am trying to deal with Banggood to get an exchange because I like the radio I'd like to keep it but uh, Banggood is being very difficult I filled out a support request form on their website and they took they take about a day to respond to every uh, every request uh, with the time difference between here and China and they said well the supplier can't get any more right now um, we'll let you know when we hear from him that was their first answer to me and I'll uh, I'll roll in video here of the email chain I have with Banggood uh, the second um, email I told them I was like listen guys I just want an exchange I don't care about the supplier I bought the radio from you so I, I noticed this morning I had a new reply and they don't notify you that they've replied to you. You have to go log in their site and find the messages, which ain't easy. And um, they're still giving me hemming and hawing about the supplier and they want to know if I could use a different microphone and see if it works. That's what the supplier told them to tell me. Now I didn't buy it from their supplier. I bought it from Banggood. So Banggood is playing the, ah, no moss, it doesn't work, sorry, supplier says they're out of them, we, we're hoping maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe, are you okay, we're okay, everybody's okay, we're fine, you know, kind of run around. And obviously this radio is not going to work with any other random mic, this mic is multifunction and is wired a specific way for this radio, so without this this is a brick so that's where i am with banggood <clears throat> if you're interested in this radio it is available on amazon personally i have a problem right now because this does not work and i'm pretty sure it's this connector i'm trying to get banggood to replace it if that fails i'm going to split this wire open and resolder this connector myself but um but that's where we are it might be a cool radio I got some testing done and I had started working on a video for you guys um, with it where I had uh, hooked it up to the SWR meter, I mean the power meter, and we had uh, power output and everything on it. 
and uh, it looked fine. It was around 25 watts on UHF and VHF. But uh, there's no point in showing you that video because I can't do anything else with it at this point. It's broke. And it may be that I just have a bad one or it may be that they're all junk. I don't know. And right now I'm kind of in limbo from Banggood. So uh, if you're interested in this, I will post links in the description below. But if you're interested in this, I would suggest you get it from Amazon and not Banggood. And the other thing is, I did not get a programming cable for this radio. So I had to order that separately, um, I think off of Amazon. And I'm, that's like two weeks out. Of course, I ordered that when I got the radio and discovered there was no programming cable. And now the radio doesn't work, so I spent 10 or 15 20 dollars on a programming cable that I can't do anything with. So anyway, that's where we are with this. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you would. Uh, make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And uh, make sure and ring that bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks for stopping by, 73s. Have a good one.